Welcome back, guys, to Tales of Arise, where last episode, after retreating from Esteluva Forest after ascertaining that the Lord wasn't there, we returned to Niez as Bayfon apologized for feeding us bad intel and then told us that the Lord had been captured, with Deadline readying to give a victory speech to his supporters. Heading over to the big event, we soon witnessed the unfolding plot of Lord Almadria in action, as the spectators reveled at execution having unwittingly consumed the fruit of Helgen. When the fire hit her pyre, sending her supposedly up in flames, it was instead all those whipped up into a frenzy watching them at their end turning into a mass puzzle of death. It was then that Rinwell recognized her parents' killer in the flesh as the unharmed Lord showed off her sigil, leading her to attack out of pure hatred as Lore intervened, not wanting her to fall prey to those dark emotions as Almadria summoned forth Grinimuk to face us that we have just defeated in battle. Is everyone all right? Yeah, but Almadria got away. Rinwell, are you... What? What the hell happened here? Bayfon, is that you? Thank goodness you're okay. I've been outside this city this whole time. But I sensed a disturbance in the wind and decided to turn back. What happened here? Where is everybody? All Matria's handiwork. She allowed herself to be captured so she could rile up the Danans into a frenzy and rob them of their astral energy. She wiped out almost everyone in the plaza, including Deadheim. Deadheim's dead. Everyone. And the Darkwings. Almost all of our companions in the Resistance. How could this happen? Regardless of what she had to gain, what kind of person would do something like that? If she managed to find kinship in Kelvalik, then I'd say the very worst kind. It's clear now that she used Menencia as a testing ground for the fruits of Helgen, before using them here. So everything that led up to this moment was all a part of her plan. Once she knew they'd eaten enough tainted food, she just needed to get herself caught. We have to go after her. Balseth and Ganabel were horrible, but Almadria makes them look like saints. I doubt she's really gone back into hiding. We have to put an end to this once and for all. Yeah, what she's done can't be forgiven. I... I don't know what to do. I saw what hatred did to those people, but... Hating her is the only thing that's kept me going. I can't just stop hating her. What am I supposed to do? Tell me! Smile at her from across the battlefield? Apologize while we fight her? I don't know if I can do that. Rinwell. Nobody can understand what you've been through. We can't even begin to imagine the pain you've experienced. But if hate is what has kept you going ever since that day, then let it be your strength. However, think about this. When you've had your revenge, when we've beaten Almadria, then what will you do? Huh? I'm saying you're going to have to find a way to survive once that hatred is gone. When it is, what do you plan on doing then? I don't... I don't know. I've never thought about it before. Almadria's death doesn't have to be your end, too. You need a reason to live, Rinwell, not an excuse to die. Understand? <laughs> She's right. We could never truly know the pain that Almadria has caused you. But I think you should listen to Xion. Give yourself time to consider things. And if it's too much right now, it's okay for you to sit this one out. No. My head might be a mess right now, but I'm not letting you fight Almadria without me. I need to be there, please. That much I do know. I'm going with you. And on the road, I'll... I'll think about it. A reason to live. Without hate. That said, it'll be no good chasing after her blind with no idea where she went. Bayfon, do you have any ideas where she might have gone? I can't say for sure. 
but west of here is an underground harbor along a cliff near the coast. She spent years building a ship there, a floating fortress that she called her castle on the sea. No one quite knew why she wanted the thing, but now... Of course, she's already effectively destroyed her own capital. It's likely she planned to abandon her realm as well. Right. That's as good a lead as any. Let's go. So, Law's Intervener title has been obtained. But she was very much right to intervene. It was the right time. There's a line that humanity or humans should not cross at certain times. Otherwise, what would be done to the person is almost irreparable for various reasons. Equally, that shot that she fired, if Law can block it, would have done absolutely bugger all to the Lord. So, uh, there was no killing her then if she shot that shot. It was silly. But now Rinwell can make... Of course they need to deal with it. Of course they might end up killing her. There's a kind of way to go about things. And a way to deal with things. And that wasn't it. Inspiration has been unlocked by Law. Restores a small amount of own HP actually is a really good trait. Law definitely needs that. Uh, where are we currently learning with Law, actually? So we were going for easier overlimit, which we have unlocked as well. So I'll actually get that because it's there. I'll get inspiration next for him. It's resistance plus 30. We have 4, 5, 7, 7, 11. Aquist Impact is now unlocked if I want to get it, but we're still going for the Healing Arts. And solitari soli solitari Solitarity. Solitary Captivity. So what is the quick, correct way to kill someone? There isn't one. Shouldn't be dealing with capital punishment anyway. Sometimes it happens. That's why in most a lot of JRPGs, of course, you suddenly have the villains falling, uh, like, to the whims of their own plot and dying outside of the character's hands, actually killing them. Sometimes it depends what characters you're playing or what characters you're playing as. But that was not the right time. Especially because, honestly, no matter what, if you think that Rinwell's shot was actually a kill shot and actually going to kill that lord, then you are absolutely delusional. <laughs> Law could block it. <laughs> it wasn't good enough. It was just silly. All right, what else do I want here? Elemental attack is pretty good. So increased art casting resilience would be pretty good. Uh, I guess still going for the KO prevention, I guess. And yes, I'll want that afterwards. What's that woman going to do next? Nothing good, I'll bet. We'll stop it this time. <laughs> oh man, everything leading up to it was absolutely ace. Just you knowing that everyone's there when the Fruit of Helgen's in play, you're just like, oh my god, everyone's gonna sploosh. Everyone's gonna sploosh. Oh my god. Now now everyone's asking the deep philosophies. What do you think would separate Law's Vengeance versus Winwell's? Well, they were all going there to kill him and they got the job done. <laughs> That's basically the separation here. For the most part. There are plenty of lives lost in the fight of Freenias, but nothing compares to what they've endured here. Oh, dead I'm. It was kind of a more uh, joint operation. Everyone kind of contributed to that. It was less, though, of course, Law wanted his revenge. It was less an absolute pers personal thing of hatred. Law wasn't even that wrapped in it in the way that Rinwell was. But if you want to speak the philosophy of it and what's right and wrong, this ain't the channel. <laughs> Chog on. Because <laughs> I'm jogging on to continue on. At that point, story-wise, it makes sense that whole thing played out to me. It may not to you. You might disagree or agree with certain characters' actions here, there, and everywhere. But I also believe that when you kill someone absolutely consumed with hatred like she is at that point, and when it's very obvious that Rinwell has been living with that hatred for her entire life, that the culmination of that will only lead to regret. This is a common story trope that was, of course, stepped in and avoided. This happens in so many forms of everything that afterwards it's just a feeling of emptiness, a feeling of no completion at all, no satisfaction. What is my life? What am I living for? 
They might, they still have to deal with the problem, but the problem wasn't going to get dealt with then anyway. Pursuing Almadria. I still can't believe what that Almadria did. Not only that, but she was enjoying it. It's patently clear she has no respect for human life whatsoever. We need to take her out. I don't think I've ever felt so enraged at another person in my whole life. Yeah! There's no way she's getting away with this! Then we head for the underground docks. We need to hurry. Rinwell, can you keep moving? Y yeah At least we also have more into a glimpse of what Rinwell, her hatred of Renans, her absolutely all-encompassing hatred of Renans, is due to an absolute personal loss as well. So that's good to know on top of that. But essentially, what we're going to get now from skits, etc, is more elaboration on the point. Rinwell's vendetta. My family and I, we spent all of our days just living in hiding. Until... until one day when we were found... and attacked. I was the only one my dad and the others hid. That's the reason I survived. While the rest of my family was butchered. The only thing that I could see... was the crest of a lord glowing through the smoke. And then... and then... It was Almadria who did it. I'm sorry, Rinwell. That woman... Did she really find the existence of Dan and Mages to be that much of a threat? Enough to invade another Lord's territory? No, I doubt that. Most likely, she was after their knowledge and techniques. She only did it so she could become stronger. That's the kind of woman she is. In retrospect, I do remember her making it sound like she created that monster she summoned. A monster. I wonder, do you all think of me as a monster? Because I'm able to use magic even though I'm Danon? Renwell. Of course we don't think you're a monster, you dummy. Huh? I might have had to hold you back, but it's her fault any of this ever happened, not yours. Got it? Law. Some people just can't cross that line. It all equally with stories, there are various contrivances, you could say, that are meant to further a later plot or further more of a plot. Like, for example, most stories, if the heroes go, oh yeah, that's a villain, and just like get a gun and shoot the villain in the head, and then what's the story? Three pages long? It's this kind of thing, right? <laughs> it really is that kind of thing. I mean, it's not a good example because it's prequel movies that came after the fact, but if Obi-Wan kills <laughs> Anakin, a Mustafar, then a lot of the stuff, bad stuff that Darth Vader then goes on to do doesn't happen, and of course he does the same thing. The plot just ends and we get no further plot. Of course, it's not a good example because it's the prequels. Mm. Things happen. Story contrivances happen because we need to get to certain parts of stories at certain times. Characters drop off for no reason, other things. It's never the simplest routes or we just would not have a story. We just wouldn't have a story to the much more. Occasionally, you get those story deconstructions, but a JRPG isn't really the place to find them. Damn, it was literally everything we took out of the castle laced with that poison. It's not fair. Why did Dedham have to die? That's not supposed to happen to the hero. But essentially, the story makes sense to happen in that fashion, and that scene makes sense in order to get further gameplay. You could say that back to me about the Ferion arc in Pazaria. Well, that was 20 hours of wasted time. <laughs> Maybe if someone had found a way to restrain Deadeye, we could have avoided this whole tragedy. Oh, who am I to talk? I didn't try to stop anyone from going. I'm just guilty of letting this happen to anyone else. So the whole thing was just one big trap laid down by Maedra. The Dark Wings winning, the Liberation needs, everything. Guess that's when we get what we get for letting that victory go to our heads and crowning Dead I'm a big hero. We got complacent and paid the price. Indeed. And the game has to set us up for the next point and the actual, like, big boss battle by hyping up even more. If a random spell just comes out of the blue and takes out the thing, we're like, oh, okay then. 
and the player doesn't get to actually do it themselves for the most part. That's when you get all the people complaining on a games forum somewhere about the game. Ugh. Everyone I know is dead. If only I stopped them, they'd still be here right now. It's not your fault. You couldn't have known this would happen. I could never bring myself to like dead Deadeye, but I wouldn't wish any of that on him or his followers. That was too cruel what happened. I guess really what I'm saying is you can't please all the people. Seems the people in the inn are mostly talked to. How could everyone just die? Did we do something wrong along the way? I mean, you guys didn't technically. If you're all still here, I'm fine. This city has become awfully lonely. I know, there used to be plenty of people around, but now it's a ghost town. Now, where did everyone go? Why did they all just leave? <laughs> they were spoosh. Damn it, we've got all these homes to go around, but now there's no one left in the city to live in them. My buddy died in the plaza. There's not even a body left to bury him. I didn't bother going to the plaza to celebrate our victory. Seeing everyone in such a frenzy just didn't sit right with me. But after what she did, I absolutely hate her guts with every fry of my being. I bet. Seems I need to rest it in just to get my CP back. Trust me, when we see that dialogue about the lack of housing, it's not a lack anymore, is there? But I see that cutscene. The whole Rinwell dialogue is a big sticking point for some people and it's a big thingy. So it's interesting to find that it is. Despite the fact that you could probably like go through loads of stories with exactly the same ha thing happening. That made you plan to kill everyone all along. I know people died under it before, but this is extreme. Why would she do that? I don't know. I had a lot of friends in that plaza too. Now they're all gone. It's okay to be sad about it, but we survivors have to pull ourselves together. We still have a city to run. I think continuing to do what we set out to do is the best way to honor and respect the memory of those who've fallen along the way. I think the thing that people have to remember as well is that, yes, it's a game. It needs to set up the next gameplay segment. The next boss battle. No one ever does anything logically in the story, though. No! Alright, no story. Everyone is, I knew is just gone. They were gone, my friends, my family, gone. So this whole time, my major had us right where she wanted us. Man, that's gonna take a while to sink in. This can't be happening. This has to be a nightmare, right? What's happening? Why did everyone disappear? I don't know, I asked Bayfon and he wouldn't tell me anything. The funny thing is also, why wasn't there any kind of uproar when, um, Bohilim let Kelselik go. Because we knew exactly what would happen when Kelselik was let go. We knew that it was essentially going to lead on to more plot points slash more gameplay. <laughs> it's the same thing. We had to dispose of all the food and medicine that we confiscated from the Renner after we took over Nice. All that we've been able to keep are the books they recorded their knowledge in. It's back to struggling to find medicinal herbs all over again. What's all the dead I'm supposed hardcore supporters died from in the plaza? Once he survived were people like me who never got along with him too well. Funny how stuff works out like that sometimes, isn't it? Horse sh <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> horse to sheep me! <laughs> Philly sliced horse meat served with condiments. The chase of the fat melt when eating, giving it a distinct flavour unlike other meat dishes. Sounds lovely. There's no point in reading it unless you plan on making it. Horse sashimi. Yes. Lovely. Off we go then, I guess. This is all our fault. We were so caught up in celebrating our victory, nobody even bothered to think if it was a trap. Look what it cost us. Seems like our maid would have took advantage of all the chaos and confusion and slipped past these gates when nobody was looking. If I had to guess, she's either trying to get into the ruins past here or she's making a run for the underground harbor. Well, let's continue along. Dock west of Knees. I guess this is west. If the top compass point is north. I'm 
sure there must be some skits for a stab at this point in time. Oh yeah, she got me in. Give it back. dog. I'll trip it up. Can't get out of this. Burning the wind. Air Eternal Frozen. Hammer. Now, take this. Dazzle. Lunar Here I come. Fly. Nice. No scratches on my shield or my armor. No special new cat shield. No choice. Get You're mine. You're finished. Look sharp. Eternal Lunar devastation. Dazzle. Start up. Go in. Lightning can go. Thunder Do it. You're finished. Flying free. Get toasty. Burn strike. There. Go. Go to the go. Go escape. Eternal Man who lifted it up. Where are you going? Take this. Here you go. Air threat. Bad time to lift it. Let's keep our eyes on the prize. Off we go then. Are you saying I'm only like ever choose? This is the thing. Do I choose female party members more than male party members most of the time? I mean, they've all got the best abilities, I think. <laughs> so much time spent with the girls. Yes. Not in your dreams. Not for any bad reasons, though. Hey, you can't be up there. You shouldn't be up there. <laughs> Rinwell agreed. Everyone still in one piece? Yep. I barely worked up a sweat. Alright, is this where she's going? Woohoo! The underground, hidden underground dot west of Nears. Where actually is that? It's a really good point. I don't even know exactly where I'm going. You'd think underground dot would be on Adan Lake, but it's not there either. I guess it's just somewhere we haven't even got to yet. But this is definitely west. Yes. You sense one of your pals, Hoodle? I see plenty of ruins around here, too. Must have been a big town bustling with people back in the day. For crown contest participants, places such as these are but vectors for the astral energy they pursue. Similar to that windmill, for instance. <laughs> Let's keep fine. No choice. Crush. So good as an AoE. Here I come. In a bind. Annihilation! Let them mark it! Armor won't save you! Too fast! Oh, I got away! I'll trip it up! Eternal devastation! Oh man! Lunar Corrupion! You're mine! Eternal devastation! You're finished! Here I come! Well, I tanked the big one, I guess. <sighs> Everybody okay? We're all right, Alfin. Red chamomile. 
As we get some more penetration, who needs it the most? I guess Dohalim does, technically. But I want it. <laughs> I'll take it there. May think with all that stuff as well that I'm very forgiving for story elements like that. It's just I know that a story needs to get from point A to point B to give gameplay as well. Yes, sometimes it can be written in a better fashion. Sure. But I can understand what they're doing and why they're doing it then. Oh, orange shell. What they're trying to achieve. And then it's a game. Yeah, I'm gonna need that. Leave the ensnaring to me. Well then, let's keep moving. Owl is nearby, so it's gotta be in. No, it's not in this bit. I'd have thought it'd be through here. I think we found it. Don't worry, we'll get you our friend in a second after we get all these crystals, which probably can make me make some really good attachments at this point in time, but I've not really been slamming the attachments very well. Yeah, the question is, where, where are you approachable from? Yeah, I can see you. That's far enough. Here I come. Hurt, Arctic, oh, 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 You're finished. Uh, Here's a healing arc. Arc. The power of the sonic I'm you ready to go. Can't be Pesky airborne More scoundrel. Sounds like a they job for you, truly. An astral arc? arc? That's my deal. It's a bit. Shut him. This ends now. Consider yourself finished. I somehow dropped some zero damage during that. That crew didn't stand a chance. Everyone still in one piece? Yep. I barely worked up a sweat. Yeah, I can see you. Where's the point of examination? Because the thing is, I can't get on ooh, that floor ooh, ooh. below you. Oh, oh, uh, oh. Wait, is it something ooh, just as simple ooh, as, like, centering my camera? Ooh, ooh, ooh. For some reason, here is good, like, but it's ca it's camera-based. Angel's wings have been obtained. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's camera-based more than my position-based. You're saying we should check the owl forest? <gasps> we should check the owl forest! Maybe I should drop down into this massive hole first. Whee! <sighs> regrets. Or not regrets. Ice cream recipe! A sweet made by freezing milk and eggs, though perfect in hot weather. There's something to be said for having it on cold days, too. Okay, then. Uh, shall I go back to the Owl Forest quickly because we barely explored anything and there's a fast travel point. Is there a fast travel point here? There isn't, is there? Eh, I guess there's one there. I guess I'll keep going then. One of the goodies, after all. I can jump over in here. Subsurface Mirage. A fish-shaped lure best used beneath the surface. It tricks prey by posing as a weakened fish. I do hope we don't have to use, like, certain lures for certain fish. <laughs> 
Or if there is just a gradient of lures, powers. Because I've barely fished, I don't know what to use. We really need to do some more fishing, though. Do you think this is one of the places where the Dark Wings and Almadria fought? I wouldn't be so sure. This place appears more ravaged by time than combat. Even if there are signs of destruction, it would likely have taken place during the Great Conquest of 300 years prior. And ever since, it's been a breeding ground for Zoogles, I guess. Let's take more now. Hello, goodies. Oh, I could barely fit through that door with my big frame. Do you think he's washed yet? Hmm. At what point do I fall down one of these holes and end up falling into a monster? Surely it's got to happen with all this luring me into the holes and going, Ooh, treasure. Ooh, treasure. Ooh, Joe. Hi, Hoodle. Where are you going? Here I come. Hurricane. Uh, Annihilate. Look sharp. Hear me. Sonic thrust. Uh, uh, Water. Here I come. Uh, 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 all yours. I owe you one for that. Guess I better get in the healing circle before they finish the fight so I can heal up. I'm practically unstoppable. 